Welcome back to this Voxhouse tutorial series on creating menus inside the Unreal Development Kit with Flash and Scaleform. In this second part of the series consisting of three videos, I'll be taking you in-depth on the creation of a simple menu system. This menu will consist of just one button and a logo. The required pipeline only consists of two programs, Flash and the Unreal Development Kit, but if you want to make a custom logo, you can either do this from directly inside Flash or you can use another program like Illustrator, Photoshop, GIMP, etc. As I talked about in the first part, there are many Flash editors, some of them free, some of them not. Whatever Flash program you decide to use, the requirement is that it can create button graphics and apply action script to it. For this tutorial, we'll be using the 30-day Flash CS5 trial, and the version of Unreal Development Kit you'll need is May 2010 or later. So let's get started. The first step is to open the UDK editor, and we need to create a map that will open our menu system. This isn't a mapping tutorial, we'll assume that you know the basics, otherwise you probably want to go check out one of the tutorials out there about that, you can find them all over the place. But assuming you do know the basics, go into the UDK editor and let's start a new additive map. The first thing that we need to do is create a place to spawn our player even though we're not going to actually be doing any playing per se, it's kind of good to have one there to ensure that our map will load and that our menu will appear. So, uh, we have a basic BSP brush here in the shape of a square, and we can right-click the brush builder for the cube shape, uh, change the dimensions if we want, but I think it's just fine the way it is, so we'll hit build and close, and then after that we have to use a CSG add operation. And now you can see that we have a nicely textured square on our map. Cube, that is. And then we have to create a player start, so we'll go to add actor, add player start. And we don't need a light in our map because we're not going to be running around in it, we just want to load a menu immediately. The next step is to open the Levels Kismet Editor by clicking the K icon at the top of the screen. And in Kismet we can establish when we want the menu to appear. So in a front-end menu, this will very likely be right away at the beginning, so we want to add a Level Start event and hook everything that we do next up to that. So we will create a Level Loaded node. So what comes next? Well, I already know the steps to take to get the menu to appear properly, but I want to show you what will occur if you don't take certain precautions, certain steps. So let's just go ahead and add the node that we'll need to open our Flash movie. Right click, New Action, GFX UI, and Open GFX Movie. And let's connect the input of the OpenGFX movie to the loaded and visible output of Level Loaded. And at this point, without an actual SWF movie to load in our OpenGFX movie, we'd kind of be stuck, so let's go into the Flash environment. But first, let's save this level. And as for me, I'll just save over my previous version. Now let's open Flash and work simultaneously between Flash and Unreal. The first step is to open a new Flash document, Action Script 2.0, and this is important because version 3 is not supported yet. Now in our document properties, let's adjust some settings quickly for optimal results. The first thing that we want to do is change the stage color, and you want to have it roughly the same overall value that you intend to have in-game, and I want something dark and spacey, so let's go with black. The next thing that we want to do is adjust our dimensions. and We'll set the size to something fairly large in a wide aspect ratio. And we're doing this in a wide aspect ratio because if you have a standard aspect ratio in your game, it will letterbox it, and this is actually the desired behavior. And so, something like 1920 by 1080 ought to be good, that's high definition. And resize our stage, so 
so that it's manageable so that we can see everything and then we want to change our frame rate to something like 30 frames per second and you might be thinking that 60 would be even better because in game it handles 60 frames per second easily unfortunately this is a faulty assumption because sort of the opposite effect will happen if you start feeding it too many frames to process in game too quickly your game will become laggy next we want to go to the file menu publish settings flash tab and make sure it's set to flash player 8 and double check that it's action script 2.0 because these are the latest versions that Scaleform supports. And hit OK. Now we've got our document set up and we're ready to start making our menu. And we'll continue with that in the next part.